It's week number one for Eloise. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is our six-week course where our slimmers are going to be losing a stone over the next six weeks. Hi, Louise. Hello again. How are you feeling? <laughs> All right, thank you. Not too bad, apart from drain from work, but that's about it. So you're fresh from work and you were straight oh, in your garden nice. again. Always, yeah, always. When the weather's nice, I'm, I, I literally threw the front door out the back, yeah. Great. That's good. It's a good routine you're in. I think it's because I spend eight hours a day staring at a computer at work <laughs> and I think any opportunity you get to get outside when the weather's OK, I, I take it. I'm a bit of an outdoorsy person anyway. So, nice. yeah. It's a positive. Right. So last time we did a video, it was just the introduction. Now we can talk about our progress, our weight loss. How much have you lost since you began with us? Well, it's a bit of a strange one because I was on holiday last week. So the last time I weighed in was Saturday morning, um, which yeah. was after my holiday. And I was exactly the same weight Saturday morning as when I put down on your forms. Yeah. But then this morning, I'm three pounds less than that. Fantastic. So it's a hard one to judge because we only went live on Friday, didn't we? And then, like I say, weighed Saturday and then I weighed this morning. So it's it's a bit of a an, a, an awkward one this week. So I think next week it will work out a bit better that we'll know where we're at. But three pounds is great for the first few days isn't it well we'll stay yeah <laughs> <laughs> and have you been feeling since you've come back tired because i'm back at work again it drains me <laughs> i'm not used to staring at a computer and then you go straight back and it's just like blinking all day long at that. oh gosh yeah but no i'm i'm fine i'm good I'm in a better place because I'm doing this as well because I'm I'm feeling like I've got to be more accountable for everything. Yeah, that's so what it's all about. Yeah, giving me the motivation, and I've also been motivated enough to book in with a chiropractor about my um, bursitis as well. So, I think that's all all a good thing as well, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, just feeling well. That's the that's the point of the whole yeah. course, actually, isn't it? Sort myself out. Yeah, definitely. Right. So let's have a little look through your food diary. Uh, so this morning for breakfast, you've had the multi-seed bread with eggs and a little bit of spread. Don't, and I didn't have four slices. It's The app is crazy. If you scan it, it comes up at like 48 calories a slice, but it's not. It's double that per slice. So the only way ah. to do it is to look like I've eaten like four slices of bread, but I haven't. It was two. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> The, this, the bread obviously used to be tiny and then they've doubled the size or something weird, haven't they? No, I don't think they have, actually. I think it's always been the same one. It's just a little multi-seed one. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, but yeah, that is my favourite breakfast. You will see that a lot on my diary. I am a huge egg for breakfast kind of girl because it's the one thing that will keep me full and just keeps on going. Absolutely, you are correct. Right, for lunch, you've had the Moroccan-style couscous, which is delicious, with falafels, hummus, peppers, radish, cucumber, and celery. And I also went off for uh, a walk quickly on my lunch break. So Fantastic. that was good. That was just 1.3 miles or something like that. It's on that, my walk. But yeah, so I, I quickly bombed up to um, Sainsbury's to get some cat food. <laughs> walk back again and got my lunch in so yeah. win win that's good <laughs> so yesterday you had Weetabix for breakfast yeah a bit of a picky in the office one that one is so you said you you do admit though that eggs are better make you feel better oh, in I love my eggs, but it's, I've got to get up on time to do them before I'm in the office at eight and yeah. sometimes I just around that I just don't I don't do it but I do put my eggs in the air fryer love them Boiled eggs in the air fryer are the best thing ever. Seven minutes, you can go and get ready, and then they beep away at you in the dawn. I've never done that before. So you just put yeah, them just in? Yeah, just them in. 180, seven minutes. Wow. Oh, like, if you like them, one and do them six. But yeah. um, you don't have to do anything. Even when it's shouting at you to turn your food over, you don't have nothing to turn over. So, yeah, um, yeah go for it. Try it out. Oh, try that. Thank you. <laughs> right. right. On the go. Yeah. Lunch today was the same lunch yesterday was the same yesterday as today was the same as today bank holiday yesterday yeah yeah and then dinner last night was chicken rice and vegetables a little bit of chocolate and strawberry as well i always have two little slices at 80 percent chocolate 
It's yeah. something that I've always done, but it just, I absolutely love dark chocolate. So I can only just have two. I always have done that, yeah. But I don't yeah. need anything else, you see. So that's yeah. good. And then just in this next section, you put the cappuccino and some milk, which you've been using for your hot drinks. Yeah, the milk for the wheat bits and the hot drinks, yeah. Uh, on Sunday, you had eggs for breakfast again with oh, some wow. mushrooms this time. Yeah. And for lunch, you've had I some of the fruit. Much. You've had some fruit yeah. and some oat cakes. How were they? They're nice, but they're just the little Nairns ones that you get in a pack. You get like three in a pack. And I literally just had them plain because I was nibbling because I was in the garden all day. It's dangerous. I spend so many hours out here that I totally forget to eat. And then it gets to the point where you think, well, might not point having much because it'll yeah. soon be dinner so yeah i'm pretty naughty for that i'm afraid no don't worry that's fine only 175 calories so that's good it was are better they, than nothing wasn't it so yeah are they like the savory oat cake but obviously because of the fruit in there it tastes sweet yes they've got like little seeds and um i'm just going to go and find a little pack in case you Wondering what they are. Yeah, because I've, I've seen lots of there. the different ones, but I've never seen. Oh, yeah. They're and not, they literally and they... just pull in a little pack of three, so you can just pop them out, even if you're out for a little walk or something yeah. like that. Just pop them in your pocket, and uh, it's something better than nothing, isn't it? It's either that or a handful of nuts I've got on me. Yeah, no, they're good. Yeah. And then in the evening on Sunday, you had. Uh, Chicken. Yeah, roast dinner. And the most important yeah. thing, you had the rhubarb and custard for dessert. It was freshly picked from the garden, I could have not. <laughs> yeah, you shared it in our private Facebook group, didn't I did. you? I think it's important to, isn't it, show people what you do. It encourages people to eat other stuff, maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, but I'm proud of what I grow. I like and it. And you also showed people that you could use the, um, the leaf of the rhubarb in the rain. <laughs> right. Can't so if you ever get caught that. out anywhere outdoors when it's Just raining, get a rhubarb find yourself leaf. some rhubarb. That's all you need. No, don't pay all this money on an umbrella. Just a rhubarb. <laughs> uh, Saturday morning was uh, eggs on toast again. Uh, for lunch, yeah. a prawn mayo sandwich. Half of that. It was in Costa. It was oh, 50% yeah. off, so I Half shared it with my mom. Bargain. Kind of like that. Yeah, I'm not a big prawn fan, actually. And it was the only one that was 50% off. So I was just like, mm. Go for it. Yeah. And um, then you also yeah. had an Americano in Costa as well, didn't you? Which is Yeah. Good. Yeah, let's just have that now because it's the lowest of the calories. Yeah. And then in the evening... Unless I was having water, which would be pointless. <laughs> in the evening, you had tuna steak. No, just a tin of That was a tin of tuna. Loads of... Oh, okay. um, salad and um, there was a low GI roll from Lidl which are really hard to get the calories for because you can't scan a barcode so you have to sort of it was a bit of a guesstimate on that okay I've never seen them before in there yeah low GI they do the loaves and the um, little little tiny dinner rolls as well is it in the bakery section or the yeah well that's the bit that you um, avoid remember that's why you shop in Aldi Exactly. So this is obviously I do occasionally go in there, but to, you're right. I do try and run past there because I think there's nothing yeah. suitable. But I might actually yeah. go and have a look at those. That's quite interesting. Yeah. How yeah, come there's no there. calorie information on it though? Because it's from the bakery. So what oh, you so scan? from the fresh bit. So this is why it hasn't from got the fresh these. bakery. Yeah. So you just have to sort of like put it on a scale, weigh it, yeah. guesstimate a little bit, and try and find something that you think is around that. Yeah. Great. Right. Friday. I like colour as well, so you'll see that everything's really colourful. I, I can't be doing with a plate of nothing. It has to be always be in colour. Yeah, beige is not good, is it? <laughs> it would be silly when my own veg and my salad and everything then to eat beige food would be a bit hypocritical wouldn't it yeah. <laughs> i'd be doing an injustice to everything that i grow <laughs> uh 
And then Friday was the last time we spoke. So that's it. Oh, yeah, that was on the journey home. That was the four hour journey. So you'll see a like a hamburger on there and a cough from McDonald's. That's when I gave up sitting in traffic for 40 minutes. So, oh, yeah, it's terrible. No, that's fine. But it's a, a very bit of a rarity. Great. So what is your goal? What are your goals for this coming week? Uh, just still be accountable for everything, just tracking everything, really. Because in the past, when I'm doing it by myself, and I did it, obviously did it before I do it by myself. So I know what I'm doing, and but I think it's like when I sort of go off, I, I, I go down <laughs> quite quickly. So. Yeah. So any of the meals that you're looking forward to this week, are you going to do similar to what you've been doing the last few days? Oh, I just air fry on my veg, honestly. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm just upset that the Brussels sprouts are out of season. But yeah, I just li literally broccoli, cauliflower. Tonight will be fish and sauce. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, keeping it simple. And uh, that's about it. But yeah, no real goals. It like I say, it's just tracking. Um, I don't worry too much about Fitbit steps and stuff like that because I always do them. Um, I love the outdoors, so you'll see if you're ever on Facebook. I do loads of posts about me walking and stuff like that. I do a lot of walking outdoors, so that bit I'm never never worried about. I don't need any motivation for that. I do that normally. Yeah. Perfect. Right. Any other questions? No, never have questions. Right, how many pounds are you going to lose by next week, this time next week? Well, uh, to uh, my fitness pal, it says two, doesn't it? So we'll just go with what they tell me. Great. They're the experts. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> right, we will see thinking. you two pounds lighter by next week then. Yeah, yeah, it will be just off here. You will see it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> right, I will see you then, Eloise, okay? Yes. All right, then. Thank you. All right, have a good week. And All you right. too. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.